People are constantly messaging and commenting asking how can I get rid of palm bubbles or even palm creases. I'm actually going to be answering that question with another question. How did the palm bubbles get there in the first place? And the answer is super simple. It's from over squeezing it. I'm going to refer to it as over squeezing. And what I mean is you have a brand new glove and you're squeezing it as tight as you can before it's actually ready to do that. This is a good example here. See this all-star catcher's mitt? Haven't done anything with it. And like, if I just give it a gentle squeeze, it, it literally just budges like that. I can squeeze it as hard as I can and you can actually already see this little tiny bubble right here from pushing on it. The rest of the glove doesn't want to close, so when just your fingers are pushing in, you create bubbles. But just think about it, you guys. If you're just to poke one part of your glove for like literally a week straight, non-stop, you would end up with like a indent right there where you're poking and it's because leather gains a memory every single little movement you do if you do it enough times it's going to kind of stay in that position or adapt to that movement whatever it is that's why we're able to flare our gloves and that's why we have a specific pocket that's why it adapts to the fingers and everything like gloves are really cool because they adapt to you and all the motions that you make but that means that sometimes it's going to adapt in the wrong way so we're going to talk about What's the best way to get rid of, you know, bad bubbles or bad palm creases? Those are really the two main things. I don't want to disappoint you guys too early here, but sometimes you literally can't get rid of it. But I'm going to show you the best thing that you can do, so follow me. Just so you guys know, all I have is this baseball, a five pound weight, and obviously our baseball glove. Just so you guys can see, the palm bubbles on this glove are actually pretty extreme. They're pretty bad. I don't know how much it's going to show up on camera, but it's bad. Just so you guys know, there's like two options. You can either use hot water or not use hot water. And the hot water allows you basically to mold the glove a little bit more. It's a little bit looser, more flexible. It's like anything in the world, really. When it gets hot, it is easier to mold. Malleable? Is that the right word? Ma malleable? I don't know. For today, I'm actually not going to be using hot water i'm going to show you what it's like just to go crazy with a mallet and simply super simple you guys pound away and try to flatten those fingers as you guys know this is where our bubbles are i'm literally taking our mallet hitting the bubbles it's very basic there's also a palm crease that goes right across here i might as well go after it too while i'm here you guys seriously need to hit it extremely hard. Just go crazy. You're not gonna break anything. Unless you like break your hand, you might break your hand. As of now, you can see that we've definitely flattened out that palm, but I bet as soon as I put my hand back in there and squeeze, they're gonna come right back. You know what? It actually helped a little bit. Like it didn't actually go back to as bad as it was before. <sighs> the best advice I can give you is just to continue, you guys. Oh, this is such a basic video, but I get so many questions on it, so. Might as well make a, you know, answer to all those questions. One thing I want you guys to think about is how you probably closed your glove like a thousand times, let's say, and every single time you're closing it, you're kind of like making those bubbles a little bit worse. So it takes a lot of work to kind of reverse the progress you already made. But it's not easy, and with a lot of gloves, it's simply not possible. And it might be something that you consistently have to do, but let's be really clear about something. Palm bubbles don't actually make your glove worse. Something I should say is that palm bubbles are a sign of a poorly broken in glove, which means that the glove might have problems, but the palm bubbles themselves don't make the glove worse. Most of the time, those bubbles are just a looks thing. Like you notice it, it's your glove, maybe your teammate notices it, and they're like, oh, you have palm bubbles, your glove is worse. But the reality is, it has very little effect on the actual performance of the glove. By the way, I just made a full glove collection video. You should go watch it. I'm sorry the camera's so close. I, I don't know, I don't know why. I just don't know, okay? Just deal with it. <laughs> 